Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching a video about a 24 year old who married someone who's 60. And I'm pretty sure I've seen these people in Twitter before. This is 24 year old Karan, and he fell in love with 61 year old Cheryl. Yeah, this is exactly how I thought it was. Basically, I seen a TikTok where you had to like look up their Twitter. They do OnlyFans and it is scary. The pair bonded due to their mutual love of TikTok and garnered much attention. Oh my god, whoa, he's proper and dead now. So apparently they met over TikTok. I I did see a photo of her a while ago and a lot of people were commenting about how old she looks. I'm pretty sure she didn't have the best life so it like aged her a lot. But I mean that's kind of cute that they met over TikTok. It's just the fact that I've basically seen her naked on Twitter. Due to their 37 year age gap. Grammy, stop hitting on your great grandson. I mean to be fair she does look old enough to be his grandson. But I mean you know as long as they're happy I guess it's fine. But undeterred by the internet trolls, Cheryl and Karan recently tied the knot. Oh wait so they're actually getting married? I kind of feel bad for people who are like single after the age of 40. I feel like whenever people think about marriage they're like oh I'm gonna get married before I'm 30 you know have children and I feel like whenever you get to like the age of 30 40 and like that hasn't happened you sort of freak out. I mean I definitely am gonna be like that. We got married the water was running beside us very beautiful. Oh my god so they proper got married that's actually kind of cute. I'm telling you right now that's literally gonna be me like I'm actually gonna be her. Now they want to grow their family and have children. Okay how's that gonna work? I'm pretty sure 61 year old cannot have a baby. I'm telling you, if she pops out a baby, it will actually end her. I'm still a mom. It never stops. So why shouldn't I have another child? I mean, to be fair, it's probably best not to have another child in case it like actually does kill you. I swear like the oldest you should have a child is 45 and they sort of say, you know, obviously you can try and have babies, but like it's a lot harder after that age. And like, I'm pretty sure like giving birth at 61 is like kind of dangerous. Think of it like that child will literally be 20 and you'll be 80. So like you will will die quite young in their life. I proposed July 30th. They made it very special, my TikTok fans, because they donated over $3,000 on Cheryl's ring in one day. Oh my God, so the TikTok fans basically paid for the ring. Do you want to do something? I'm going to get my TikTok followers to do that. Guys, I'm going to start a GoFundMe. If you want to pay for my lifestyle, donate down below. I was ecstatic. It was one of the best days of my life. Oh, that's quite sweet. I don't know if she's been like married before. I swear I've seen TikTok a while ago. Basically, she was in like a really abusive marriage and she like escaped and like all of that stress is why she looks so old. So like it's actually quite like nice to see that like obviously she's happy. You know people of that age are single. They want to feel love. They want to be in a relationship. So why shouldn't they? The one thing I just got a problem with is the fact that I've literally seen her naked in Twitter. Originally me and Cheryl planned to keep the wedding private because we were getting a lot of hate at the time of us making TikToks about our weddings. First a lot of people were saying we're faking it. It's not real. I mean to be fair yeah that is believable like whenever people look at you as like a couple they will probably think yeah that's like a fake couple i mean you know obviously they're a couple but it's like it is quite shocking to see like that big of an age gap don't get me wrong i think older guys are attractive i like am attracted to them i don't think i date somebody who's like 40 years older than me or like 30 in their case so we just decided we're gonna stay off social media until the wedding and we wasn't gonna give it then the day of the wedding she was like hey let's go live let's give them the wedding oh my god wait so they done the wedding live in tiktok Okay, now that is something that I want to do. To be honest, I'm surprised one of them Twitch IRL streamers hasn't done that. You know the Twitch streamers are like always live whenever they're like walking around everywhere. I'm surprised one of them haven't live streamed their wedding. We felt like our fans and supporters deserved to see it. And when we did, we had over 20,000 viewers. Oh my god, 20,000 people watch and get married. It is quite crazy how social media works, isn't it? Like over 20,000 people are interested in seeing these two people marry. If I got married, how many people would watch the wedding? I don't even know who I'd invite to the wedding like that's quite scary i felt like a princess i never thought i would get married again but he came along and hey it was magical oh my god why am i low-key crying like i feel like i'm gonna tear up it's honestly so cute like i know i was kind of judging this couple and it's like oh my god that's like weird but, like it actually is really cute like she obviously really loves him and he obviously really loves her i just hope that like one of them doesn't cheat i've seen like a lot of videos where like younger guys have like a fetish for older women and like they'll be sleeping with loads of older women women. But by the looks of it, he isn't doing that. Like, he's actually married her. It's so cute. Despite their strong bond, they've had to deal with relentless trolling. We're still getting it. They're trying to say that we're really not married. They're still saying that it's fake. I mean, to be honest, whenever it comes to stuff like that, if you constantly speak about it, like, it will continue. I don't think a lot of people understand, but whenever you constantly mention, like, trolls or, like, hate online, the hate will just continue. Like, they will literally keep saying the comments because they find it funny. 
day. So I don't know if they respond to hate a lot, but I would say to them, like, just ignore it. That's the best thing you can do. Some of the backlash I received, they say I'm dating my grandmother. They say she can never bear children from you. I mean, um, I would say you theoretically are dating a granny. Like, I understand that comment. But I mean, the children part, yet again, you don't know. Maybe she is able to have children. Maybe she isn't. I'm pretty sure women can, like, freeze eggs. I don't know if that's a thing. I think it is. I don't know if women her age, like, yet again, she is 61. She is quite old. If they are gonna have a child, they could do surrogacy or, like, adoption. I don't know about, like, actual pregnancy. I'm just scared that, like, she's gonna get injured during the pregnancy. Grammy, stop hitting on your great grandson. I mean, you gotta admit, whenever you post videos like that, used to kissing, you're obviously gonna get comments. I feel like a lot of times these people don't understand that, like, even if you post stuff, like, you're gonna get comments. I know that sounds really bad, but it's like realistically with them, if I were them, I'd just turn the comments off or like filter them. It's not that hard to filter comments. Like, I feel bad that they have to do it. But to be fair, they are doing something that is like very. I don't know how to put it into words, just like. It's not everyone's cup of tea. She was there when Eve stole the apple from the tree. Okay, I won't lie. I've seen comments like that in old people's videos. There was like one of a monk. Pretty sure the monk like died a week ago as well. But basically there's like a really old monk and people are like, he literally like ate bread with Jesus. I won't lie, them comments are quite funny. Obviously she doesn't find them funny, but like they low-key are kind of funny. Now these newlyweds want to start a family together, but this has come with complications. Okay, obviously we're gonna hear about the complications. She does have children. I know what the children think about like their relationship how old are the kids like i'm assuming the kids are probably like my age or older due to cheryl's age we're gonna go to see some baby clothes in a nursery so basically because of our age there is going to be complications i knew that i mean what's the oldest person she's given birth i swear seven year olds given birth before i don't know if she's going to be able to have a child i hope she does but even if she can't like their adoption you literally take a child and like bring it up as your own and then there's surrogacy like loads of other things to do we are looking for a surrogate mother for adoption. Oh, wait, so they are actually doing adoption and surrogacy. Okay, that's fine. I was thinking, are they gonna, like, actually produce the baby for her? Yeah, okay, it looks like they are doing what I thought they were gonna do. I mean, it's good that they're gonna try and adopt. Like, think of it, you're literally taking a child into your life that doesn't have parents. Also, whenever that child grows up, they can turn around and be like, my parents actually chose me, so they literally love me. I'm really not worried about me having a problem being a mother again actually would have more time with this child than i did my other one exactly because think of it she's older like she's literally like she doesn't really have much to do i feel like i want to be the type of person that whenever i'm older i'm gonna have like loads of children in my house what's that thing foster care like i feel like i'd be a really good foster care i'd either be a foster care or like an animal care where i have like loads of cats and dogs i really don't care for a boy or a girl but you know i'm excited because you know i've never had to experience this i've never done any of this and this is amazing doing it with my Wife. Isn't it quite crazy how people literally have babies? Like, think of it whenever, like, somebody takes the baby into their family, that baby is with them for the rest of their life. And that's the same with me. Like, whenever I think about children, I actually don't know what type of child I want, if I want children full stop. Like, do I want a boy or a girl? I genuinely don't know. Today, my daughter Ashley is coming over with my grandkids to visit. My grandkids love Quran. They already call him Papa. Okay, so she's got grandchildren. Obviously, her children are older. I mean, think of it. Like, if she does have a child then that child's gonna be brought up with her daughter's children so like her child's gonna be brought up with the grandchildren that's like kind of cool isn't it i look you want to be in their family i have seven children and they were upset when me and karan got together i mean you know that is understandable like whenever you see your mother who you love a lot and obviously has like had not the best past with men and then you see her with a really young man you're probably thinking in the back of your head oh god is this gonna happen all over again but obviously like they accepted him in the end because like they were we're seen together with like the family. Ashley just wants me to be happy so she's gonna stand by me no matter what. I mean that's good like that's really cute. She's got a lot of children so she's got a big family. I mean I guess as long as the family's supportive then there's nothing wrong with it. I didn't have a problem with it because age doesn't really matter. Unless they're underage but in this case they're not. It's quite scary to think that like how many years ago six years ago he would have been basically a fresh 18 year old. I'm telling you people are doing so many grown-up things now 
of days, like, I'm genuinely going to be a 16-year-old for life. We had a baby. Do you think it would be a problem? Look, it's like that. No, it wouldn't be a problem. I mean, the thing is, if something happened to them too, I guess, like, the daughter can bring up the baby. I mean, either way, there's a lot of people there, so the baby will be brought up fine. So welcome in another sibling. Yeah. I'm ready to have another brother or sister. Oh my god, we I just realized something. Yeah, if they have another child, then that's gonna be her sister. Oh my god, wait a minute. Yeah, I was thinking it was gonna be a grandchild. It's not a grandchild. It's gonna be the daughter's sister or brother. Oh my god, that's quite crazy, isn't it? Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. That was the 24 year old who's married a 61 year old and also won a child i don't know if they have the child in the end i guess i'll do a follow-up video in the future and if they do have a child i'll let you know anyways guys that is the end of the video hope you enjoyed this video if you're a press big red subscribe button and just i'll see you all in my next video